You could almost admire the brass neck with which the disciples of Thunderfoot and Pat Condell go about proselytizing their worldview to the rest of us on YouTube here. They seem to think that it is their job to educate us all about what their heroes are actually trying to tell us. Like interpreters for Delphic oracles, they go about explaining to us what came out of the mouths of their demigods. But of course, none of us are buying this. We are well able to see and hear for ourselves what these people are up to. And what these people are up to is not pretty at all. You see, they've decided that they need to make an issue out of something that by rights should never have been an issue. A group of people decided to do something with their own private property in a location that is in no way related to anything that has ever happened of any importance. It is not a mosque at Ground Zero, it's a community center at least one block removed from Ground Zero. But I don't need to explain this. Others have done this already and much better than I could ever do and some of these people are people who are actually resident in New York itself and who can speak with much greater authority than I ever could. So I will not go into this any deeper. If you want to know any more about this, go and watch the videos by the likes of the True Puka and learn. Or stay ignorant. See if I care. But what I'm not going to tolerate is this nonsense about people telling us that we should listen to what Thunderfoot is actually saying. We can hear what Thunderfoot is actually saying and it is pretty clear. As again many have already pointed out and again the true Puka is a very good example of what is going on. He explains it very well, let's put it that way. It is all well and good to pay lip service to principles such as freedom of expression, freedom of religion, freedom of speech. If then you go on to call the people who avail of such things jerks and other such things. Now there can be reasons why you could call people such things, but not in the case of fabricated issues that have been pulled out of thin air for no reason other than to insinuate and accuse things about Muslims. That is simply preposterous. So if you then look at a video like the one that Thunderfoot has posted, it is all well and good that in the first seven seconds he makes woolly statements about how these people should have the right to do what they're doing. But if the rest of his video, the other three and more minutes of it, consists of nothing but innuendo, accusations, lies even, about what Muslims do, what Islam is, what mainstream Islam consists of, then it is clear that when we're looking at a video like that, we're looking at something that is no better than a propaganda piece. A nasty propaganda piece for Islamophobia, hatred and bigotry. That is what it's all about. The lip service to freedom of expression and other such woolly terms is completely irrelevant. In actual fact, I see that as nothing other than a perfectly transparent tactic to try and distance yourself from any possible consequences of what you're actually doing here. And I'm now speaking directly to Mr. Thunderfoot. You know full well what you're up to. The imagery you choose in your video has very clearly and deliberately been chosen to 
impart to the viewer all sorts of unspoken accusations against what Muslims stand for. Never mind Islam. This is about 1.5 billion people who live among us and who by and large want to do nothing other than simply lead their life in peace just like everybody else wants to. These are the people you are swiping on the same heap as the terrorists who attacked the Twin Towers and other scum. You are in your video not making any distinction between extremists and ordinary people and that is simply inexcusable. No matter how many caveats you put in your videos it doesn't matter. The message in the other three and a half minutes or whatever it was of your video is loud and clear and despite all the caveats, despite all the rhetoric about freedom, what you are doing is clearly stirring up the hatred, stirring up the Islamophobia, stirring up the bigotry against ordinary people who live amongst you. And that is something that you will have to take responsibility for. And if you're not doing it yourself, we're throwing it at you. Because you will be held responsible, Thunderfoot. As the Godfather said in that seminal scene in the first Godfather movie, when he's talking about when his son Michael is supposed to go back to New York. We can all close our eyes to what we are up to and what we have done in the past and so on. But I'm telling you one thing, Thunderfoot. If in the next short while something terrible happens to people in the Muslim community in the States, if something horrible happens, if people get killed, if an attack results in actual casualties, deaths or serious injury, if a Muslim gets hit by lightning in the next few days in the United States, Thunderfoot, then I'm going to hold a few people on this side at least partially responsible.